you have a 3 2 defeat today, how do you reflect on the performance? Uh, well, look, first half, I think we had great shape, defended really well, and we looked threatening going forward, um, and which obviously showed before we get his goal. Um, you know, it was a good platform to build up going into the second half. Um, I think a mixture of tiredness, because we were doing a lot of work, and also switching off. I think the goals were so unavoidable. It's a carbon copy of our, of our goal against Bournemouth, and it can't happen twice. I think if you can see the set piece like that, you can't make sure that next week or week after, and throughout the whole season, don't make the same mistake. And we've done that, and it's not acceptable. Look, we can take so many positives from today, and it's definitely a platform to, to, to build on. And look, we're, we're four games into the season, but we don't want to keep playing catch up. We need to get it right now, and um, we need to eradicate all these silly mistakes because it's mistakes that are causing us, uh, you know, getting a point or three points. And um, we need to make sure that we're learning and we're, we put this right coming next week. Because of course, four defeats is not how you want to start the season, but you know, with the teams we played, I'm not saying it's because you've got to play them at some point, but you know. We've looked good in those games and they'll be plenty of positive to take for the game. Yeah, it's plenty of positives, but look, every game in this, in this league is going to be tough. There's no real team. There's a couple that are, you know, come up from the National League South and we back, we back ourselves against, but every every game is going to be a difficult game. But we need to make it a difficult game for, for our oppositions as well. So we need to come to these grounds and we need to, at home at the EBB, we need to be a team to be feared. And that starts from eradicating our mistakes, from improving on what we're, we're doing wrong and continuing what we're doing right and just getting the basics right. And at the moment, it's silly mistakes that are costing us. And it's frustrating as a player. And it's frustrating for all of us in there. We're all in there, having worked so hard today, giving it everything we had, great shape, great attacking threat, and we've come away with nothing. And it, we, can't, we can't keep going on this because, like I said, I don't want to wait until five, 10, 15 games into the season to start thinking, Right, we need to turn it on now. It needs to be right now. And um, all I can say is that we're working so hard in training. We're coming here optimistic. It's just some silly mistakes. I think that's the thing, isn't it? You know, we find ourselves one 0 down through Carl Wood's goal. Corey does so well to get us back in, back in the game just before half time. Then we find ourselves up front front just after half time. So to do that, get ourselves back in the game, and find ourselves through the end of a three-two defeat, ultimately disappointing. Yeah, like I said, it's. They've not opened, apart from maybe their um, one of their goals, they've, they've not opened us up by amazing play. We've gifted a lot of goals and it's not acceptable. And we need to, as a collective, look back and make sure that we're not doing these things again. Because look, we had fans travel all this way, they were great and making loads of noise. And we've given them the performance, but we've come away with nothing. And we can't just keep giving performances and come away with no goals or well, no points. So it's uh, definitely a platform to build on, but we need to get right sooner rather than later because we have we all have aspirations of doing well in this league. I don't care about everyone's talking about budget this and budget that. I don't care about that. We're a good enough team to do well. We've got a good manager, we've got good squad of players, and we need everyone's backing. And that's on and off the pitch. Everyone needs to sit together and be as one because we're gonna do fine as long as we learn sooner rather than later. And that's what I'm trying to say today. And let's talk about the fans as well. Obviously, nearly 300 of them turned up. Long journey for them. It's great to have the support on weekdays like this. They were brilliant today. And they have been brilliant. They're going to be frustrated when we come away with no points. Four games and four defeats. It's not ideal. It's not a great start. But their presence and them turning up, it means a lot more than they realise. And I know it's frustrating for them. And I know that they want to see their team that they support for years do well. but. It, you know, it, it's ups and downs throughout the whole season and there's going to be a point in the season where we're winning week after week and they'll be there. We also need them there for, for, the, for the losses as well. And they were today. Um, I can't fault them. All I can say is I hope they just continue supporting us, supporting the manager, supporting the players and just believe it because we are working so hard to put things right. And of course they're back again next week at home against Solly Hole next week. Yeah, another great opportunity. You've got a good week's training to build to that. A lot of work to eradicate some of the errors that we've been, you know, we've seen over the last couple of weeks, and um, look, another great opportunity. Yes, another good team. But look, like I said, we need to become that team that people fear, and um, I'm confident we will. But um, look, let's just see what happens. Let's, let's build them this week. Let's take the positives. Let's build them the negatives, and we'll, we'll get those three points from. 
Are you in the shop? Sign up below. Click here for the next video and click here to subscribe. Shut up.